How do you stay positive when your manifestation just won't show up? Well, you can start by watching a comedy Netflix special from Dave Chappelle, Ricky Gervais or Bill Burr. That always helps me to keep my mood up. However, there are more things you can do, especially if you don't like any of these comedians. To which I softly have to whisper, how dare you? But no, when it comes to you... Believing in yourself, believing in your power as a manifester, believing in the power of the universe, believing that what you want can and will flow to you. It is very hard to stay in this realm of belief and positivity and, yep, yeah, it will come true, everything will come true that I want, when nothing in your life is changing. And I know that so well from my own personal experience, because when I think back to my physical healing journey, the first couple of weeks, nothing was shifting. In fact, it took a couple of months for me to really feel that my body was changing. And I'm talking about very small changes, not like, oh yeah, whoa, I'm waking up and I can jump again. I'm talking about not having that much pain while walking and being actually able to walk down the stairs. That's the kind of progress I'm talking about. And the same happened again when it comes to my money manifestation journey. Even though I have to honestly say when it comes to manifesting money, There was not too much delay for me, or let's better say, not as much delay as it was for my physical healing journey. And that had to do, at least I believe so, that I had less money blocks than, for example, blocks in regards of my worthiness of health because of my background of having had heart surgeries and all my life I've been told to be careful and, oh my God, you have a weak immune system. Oh. I mean, as a teenager, I was too afraid to actually wash my hair in the morning because I thought if I go out with freshly washed hair, even though I tortured them with the hairdryer for almost an hour, that I would get sick. That's how deep my conditioning was when it comes to health. And with money, I didn't have the exact same conditioning at least not to this extent. However, there was still a part of me that struggled with the idea that I was worthy of the money I truly wanted to manifest. I mean, there was a time when having $10,000 in my bank account was completely out of my reality. It has never happened before. I had never had this amount of money in my bank. Nowadays, $10,000 a month would be a very slow month for me in just one month. And back then the idea that in total this would be in my bank account was completely, completely out of every possibility that I imagined back then. However, I continued to manifest, I continued to meditate, I continued to reach the frequency of abundance and I went at it again and again and again and again, which leads me to an important point that I want to share with you, for which you might hate me, but let's see. <laughs> And that's that when it comes to manifesting, you need to put blinders on. You need to realize that there is something called divine timing. And I know that whenever you hear divine timing, you might be thinking, ah, I hate divine timing. I want it now. I want my money now. I want the love of my life now. I don't give a beep about this beep divine timing. That's something that you might think right now. But the universe says, well, 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 divine timing is a thing. You can't really change it, which means that the universe operates on its own timing. Timeline. And this timeline will fall into your timeline once these two worlds collide in a good way, not in a science fiction end of the world way, but in a good way where the universe's timeline and your timeline are one and they become one by you reaching the frequency stronger, more powerful, more emotional than the day before. And then again, you do it the next day. You focus on the process. Don't necessarily always focus on the end goal, even though, of course, when you're manifesting, the goal is important. Let's say the $10,000 a month or the $100,000 in your bank account or the loving relationship or the physical healing. Of course, that's important. But I want you to break it down as a process and to see manifesting every day as your workout, as something that you just do. It's not something that you do just for one month until your manifestation comes true, but it's something that you do every day until you take your last breath on this planet Earth. I will probably be at some point 
when it's time for me to leave this physical body and to leave this physical reality, I will be on my deathbed and still manifesting a last ice cream before I'm then leaving this earth. I refuse to stop manifesting before I then go into the other world. And I think even in the other world, I will still be floating around as a spirit guide and manifesting crazy and amazing things. So that might also be fun. But anyway, for now, I'm going to focus on this physical reality. And when it comes to you staying positive, when your manifestation just won't show up, it's about you in the first step realizing that it's a process, that it's a never-ending, joyful experience. Manifesting can be joyful. And so many of the coaching clients who worked with me in the Abundance Reality Shift coaching program in our first discovery call, they didn't really believe me when I said that manifesting can in fact be joyful, that it can be playful, that it can be fun. And they just looked at me and said, yeah, I mean, uh, I've done it for 10 years and you know, <laughs> I don't know if it's that fun anymore because the things just won't happen for me. And of course, there can be all kinds of limiting beliefs that stop you. There can be energy blocks in your body, which we will also work on in the Abundance Reality Shift Coaching Program. There can be identity problems that keep you stuck in a reality where you don't have the abundance that you want. But if you work with me in this program, we will resolve all these issues and I will also share the exact blueprint with you that I use to manifest myself from a place of making barely $1,000 a month to now a place where I'm making more than $20,000 a month. It can be done and you can do it as well. And what you can also do during this process is to then focus on the positive emotions that you experience while you are, for example, meditating or simply visualizing without going into meditation or repeating your affirmations and feeling yourself into them. And this is actually a train of thought that I had when I embarked on this manifestation journey for my physical healing. I said to myself, okay, I still don't know if the law of attraction is real. I have no idea if all these spiritual teachers are just bullshitting me or if it's actually the reality, if it works. And then I asked myself, even if it would not work, let's assume for a moment it wouldn't work, which I want to make it clear, I 100% believe nowadays that it works, otherwise I wouldn't share all these episodes with you. But let's just say for a moment, that's the thought that I had back then when I started out, when I was bedridden, when I didn't know if I would ever be able to properly walk again. I said to myself, okie doke, what if it doesn't work at all? What's the worst case scenario? What's the worst thing that could possibly happen? The worst thing that could possibly happen is that I spend half an hour a day feeling better than the remaining 18 hours that I'm awake or 16 hours or 14 hours or however many hours you sleep. That's the worst case scenario that I feel better during this time. So if you're at this point right now where you say, uh, nothing is working, my manifestation is still not there, ask yourself the following question. When you do it the right way, of tuning into the frequency, of feeling the emotions of the wish fulfilled, you can't tell me that during a meditation, you don't feel at least a few seconds of relief. That you not at least feel a few seconds of abundance, of health, of love, or whatever you want to manifest, of the emotion that is in alignment with the outcome that you want to achieve. You can't tell me that you don't at least feel a certain amount of relief about these things. I believe you do. I truly believe you do. I know that you do because you are practicing it. If you're practicing it, you do. And if you simply say, even if the law of attraction is one big hocus pocus, it doesn't really exist but I still feel better during this time, so it's still worth it to continue. That was for me the worst case scenario that in my mind I constructed that still kept me going and that still kept me manifesting, that still kept me doing these things. And to then also every single day focus on things that you're grateful for, things that you enjoy, things in your life that you love, that are not related to the outcome that is still not there. So for example, if you are currently not in a loving relationship and you want nothing more than a loving relationship, then of course it's so easy to always focus on the lack of this loving relationship. But you could focus on other things in your life that you love. And the more you do that, the more a loving relationship can flow to you because you become a vibrational match to it more and more every day. So for example, you might not have your dream partner right now in your life, but you can, in this specific moment, 
Focus on feeling a certain level of love for things or people in your life. Maybe a good friend of yours or maybe the fact that you have food in your fridge. Maybe you want to treat yourself to a nice dinner and you want to just enjoy this food that you're eating. I mean, this is, for example, something that I talked about with so many of my clients that a lot of my clients said, oh, you know, going in a restaurant alone is so weird, which is kind of funny because for me as somebody who for a very long time is traveling all over the world, for me going alone in a restaurant is the most normal thing you can possibly imagine. It would never even occur to me for one millisecond to think that it's weird to go alone in a restaurant. So, yep, I'm going to give you permission to go in a restaurant alone and to enjoy the nice food and the scenery and find ways how you can feel these emotions more without the manifestation being there. The same is true for abundance. If you want to manifest more money, you might not have the amount of money in your bank account that you want, but you can be grateful for having a roof over your head, grateful for the money that you already have, grateful for the food that you can eat and that you can afford. That's why I believe also that this exercise from Abraham Hicks with putting $100 in your wallet and just going through the world and through different stores and saying, I could buy that, I could buy this, I could buy that, I could buy this, I could buy that, is really fun. And I started out on this journey with saying, oh, I could buy this bubble gum, I could buy this pencil. And nowadays I could walk past a car dealership and say, I could buy that, I could buy this. The game is the same. But the quantity and the, well, you can say the magnitude changed completely because I consistently manifested. And even at times when the manifestation didn't show up, after days, after weeks, after months, I continued. And eventually, it showed up. And that's what I wanted to share with you today. And if you're ready to find out more about my eight-week abundance reality shift coaching program, then you can go to affirmationtomanifestation.com slash abundance or click on the first link in the description. And there you can find out more about what awaits you in each of the eight individual coaching sessions. And you can, of course, also find out more about the video testimonials from previous coaching clients and about all the bonuses that you get completely for free when you then join the coaching program. And if you want to have a look at my audio program, the 11 Days to Manifestation Mastery program, then you can go to affirmationtomanifestation.com slash mastery or click on the second link in the description. And in this audio program, you learn step by step to master every aspect of the law of attraction. And it's a very affordable audio program and you also get incredible bonuses for free.